morning everybody this is Connie and I am here with another get ready with me I have a couple videos to do today so I thought I would do another get ready with me I am wearing my um, shop miss a um, headband while I'm doing my makeup just to keep everything away from my face and we might as well just get into it first of all I washed my face with the Yes to Blueberries, it's an age refresh. I, I love this stuff. Um, I used the last of it this morning, so it is empty. I've got several more things to use, but I will be, I would purchase this again, most definitely. I really like it. And it's, it's fine on my sensitive skin. It doesn't dry my face out. And then I used, I'm very sad to see this go, my Daily Facial Moisturizer with Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 15 um, is Cetaphil Face Lotion, and it is so good. This is the first lotion that really soaks into your skin. It does not just sit on top and make a grease bomb. I, I love it. Um, I will purchase this again, but I've got something new that I'm going to try first. So that is empty also. All right, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to use my Spackle Trio by Laura Geller. First thing I'm going to do is my primer, and it comes out in a little spatula like this. Just going to do that pretty lightly and put that all over my face. Okay, then I have an eye spackle, which is this top one. I'm not going to use that yet, though. I'm gonna, I'll use it after I'm done doing my foundation, I think. All right, and I'm going to use my Lumi Cushion this morning from L'Oreal, and I have it in the color W2. what it looks like and I'm just going to use an echo tools brush this morning with this oh and this feels dry and it is it's completely dried out I had it on there tight too so this is the end of this this is going by okay bye. I am back I have um, decided on the L'Oreal Visual, Visual Lift. Um, it's a serum mascara, which I absolutely love. I, I think that's a mascara um, foundation. I think that is probably about all I'm going to buy from now on is the serum ones. It's got Pro Retinol A and Vitamin C. Even though I've already done my serum for today, I'm still going to put it on. Um, and the color is Soft Ivory. That's what it looks like. Just going to do a pump on my hand. Probably speed you up now.
All right, there we go. Um, I think most of my, my foundations are getting pretty old, and they show on my face. So I'm going to be going through, and I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of my foundations. Um, and I'll have to restock on my foundations because they're all getting pretty old, I think. All right, so now I'm going to use some concealer. And I what I always use is my Tarte Shape Tape. I absolutely love this stuff. Try to use a brush today. I don't know. I'm Just, I'm just not happy with anything that I've been putting on my face lately. Um, I just don't think it looks very good. I don't know whether my makeup is getting too old or my skin is getting too old or what. <laughs> up with the heat from my fingers. I'm going to use just a little bit of setting powder and I'm going to use the Tarte. This is actually a foundation but it's light medium neutral Amazonian clay foundation and I'm just going to set my under eye with that. I don't know if it's going to be too dark or not. Okay, that should do it. All right. <clears throat> I only worked two days this last week. It was crazy. Um, I just, I was sick as a dog. Just not feeling well at all. And so I didn't work Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. I went to the doctor on Tuesday, got a note that I, I couldn't work. Um, I had an ear infection, which that was part of driving me crazy and sinus infection which I had such pain and pressure along here that um, I couldn't even concentrate on anything so all right here we go eyebrows I'm using my Revlon color stay in soft brown This has got to be, um, I think, my probably my favorite. Uh, Milani is running a pretty close second. I like the Milani one, too. And I'm sure getting used to my Anastasia. Doing this a little darker than I usually do because of the foundation. see how I like it once I'm done. Boy, I can't see today. I'll tell you what. So, I have to get my driver's license. And I gotta tell you, I need to change my insurance before I get my driver's license. So I've been scouting around with 
what's the best pricing. And I think I found something. I'm gonna I'll get that today. See how I like it through the end of the year anyway. It doesn't look near as dark once I spool it out a little bit. All right, so that is my Revlon. All right, and um, let's go ahead and use my... Get the rest of the foundation off my hand. Um, eye Spackle Primer. I used this I think once before I need to use it more because this isn't really that old it's getting there but it's not that bad okay and then there's a lip primer in here too I'm gonna I know it looks bad I don't know why. Lip Spackle Primer, it says. Okay, so eyeshadow. And my main eyeshadow, first thing I'm going to do is use my, I've been getting BoxyCharm for a few months, and um, this is my third box, I believe, this month. And so I got the, this is what made me get it, to start it up again. And it's the only box that I'm doing right now. It's the only box that I could afford. And I put a little bit of money in my savings account every two weeks, and so that's what I pay for this with. And this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea, Volume 2. And I'm only going to use a couple colors out of here today. Okay, so first one I'm going to use, I'm going to go with this one here all over the lid first. Really hoping you can see me okay. Who it's hot in here today? I don't know. It's it's this room, I think. All right. So then I'm gonna go in with like that transition color. This is the first time I've, I've dipped into this, and this is a pretty transition color. Although they aren't real pigmented, you have to kind of work at them. All right. And my brush. Well, I'm going to go in with the same brush, and I'm going to... Um, Go into this darker color here and put that at the I am not very good at this part so please forgive me
Okay. <clears throat> I am going to go in with a clean buffer brush, and I'm going to just clean everything up here a little bit. All right, so for my eyelid, I'm going to go into the Blink Electric Eyes palette that we got um, from them. I don't know when it was, though. And I'm going to go with... I think I'm going to go with this color, this middle one. Sorry, I haven't been telling you what brushes I was using. I was using, all along, I was use, using um, my Real Techniques brushes, except for that blending brush is just kind of a no-name. I kind of thought it was Morphe, but it doesn't say it on there, so mustn't be. And I'm going to go in and buff one more time. Just to make sure I don't have any sharp lines there. Okay, there is my eye look. I hope I didn't goof up too bad. <laughs> I'm going to go in with a... Get rid of all these brushes here. A, um, let's see here. Eyeliner, and I wasn't for sure which eyeliner I'm going to use. I think I will go ahead and I'll use the Giordana... Um, in cocoa. And I'm going to go on top this time. I'm going to, I'm trying something different. sure comes off nice on my hand, but it sure is hard to get on my eyes. And I've got way too thick of a line, but I'm not going to go back and change it now. So, Okay, so for mascara, I am using my Essence um, Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. And I have no idea what color this is, and it's in like black as black probably or something all right and here is the 
wand, which is okay. This eye is much more hooded, I think, because um, I get mascara all over my lid every time I do my eyelashes with this on this eye. Oh, I gotta remember to sit up and not look down so low. And I've got it all over my lid because I was talking. I go in with one more coat on top. I like what this does to my lashes. All right. So it's blush time. And I am going to go in with no surprise here. This is my favorite blushes. This is this is romantic rose. T rose is my absolute favorite, but I do like this one. All right. You guys know I do not bronze or contour. All right, highlighter. This actually was the um, Moda Pro blush brush that we got. There was a three pack, and this is the blush brush, and I really like it. All right, and for highlighter, I am going in with um, the I Like Your Face by ColourPop highlighting palette that I got. I won in a giveaway from um, Zany Laney. And I'm going to go in, uh, I don't know which one I want. I think I'm going to go into this color here, up here. Um, these two colors are the most wearable for me. The other ones I probably will use for eyeshadow colors. And I'm going in with a Luxie... Um, 640 Pro Preci Precision Tapered. <laughs> Hard for me to say. And I don't know if this brush is just too soft and fluffy. For this. I'm kind of going for, you can see me from outer space. All right. Oh yeah, I can see it on that cheek for sure. All right. 
<laughs> All right, lipstick. Um, I, what did I do with that? I also won this from Zany Laney. This is ColourPop Ultra Satin in a mini size, and it is in the color, I have no idea. Let me see if I can see. Prim. P-R-I-M. Beautiful red. Now let's see if I can stay within my lips. All right, that is my makeup look for today, and I hope you like it. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up. And, ah, let's see. Let's see if I can do a thumbnail here. I guess it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> anyway, I hope you like this, guys. And I will see you soon with another one. I will see you this week with a couple of hauls. I've got a couple that are on their way to me. And the 21, not the 21 Days of Beauty, the 20% um, off sale that Ulta just did. I ordered a few things there. I've got a Walgreens haul for you. I've got my BoxyCharm. And I have got a... Uh, Bath and Body Works that I just ordered today. So it, that'll be a week or so. So I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.